Those who are in Washington, D.C. tonight describe the city as eerily quiet ahead of the inauguration. Streets are closed tonight, a lot of them. Approximately 20,000 plus National Guard troops now patrolling the city. Barricades and fencing are all set up, all for protection, of course, amid threats we're hearing about leading up to the inauguration. Another 5,000 troops set to arrive tomorrow, and all of them are going through enhanced screening because of concerns about a possible insider attack. There were military people and police who took oaths to defend the Constitution and to protect and defend who didn't do it, who were in the, the insurrection. So it does concern me. FBI agents we know are conducting the screening. They are looking for anyone with possible ties to extremist groups who could pose an internal threat. Despite their concerns, they have not found any issues with any Guard member. But Governor Greg Abbott says he's offended by what's happening to National Guard troops in Washington, D.C., commenting, in fact, on a Washington Post article about vetting guard members for a possible insider attack, he says, quote, no one should ever question the loyalty or professionalism of the Texas National Guard. He also points out that he authorized more than a thousand to go to D.C. ahead of the inauguration from our state, and he warns that he'll never do it again if they are, in his words, disrespected like this.